Hey guys, welcome back to Operation RV. I'm so glad you had another chance to check on back in on this episode. Today, look no further, I will be installing a windshield washer reservoir here. Uh, the motor, all the hoses and components. So if yours is broken or missing and are having trouble finding some footage, uh, stay tuned and I'd like to show you how I'm doing mine. All right, so here's the part numbers that we got going on here. This is the reservoir, and of course these are from LMC truck. Uh, this is the pump. Uh, this is the uh, screws that hold the top part of the reservoir. You need two of those. Here's the part number for the bottom, bottom retainer pin. And there is the uh, T that goes off the two main hoses. Here's uh, the first hose and the second hose. All right, guys, let's dig in. All right, guys, so what I had to do real quick um, off film is I had to go ahead and move my fuel pressure regulator over because these are the original mounting holes, this one, this one, and I've already put the bottom clip in there. Um, was not, uh, it was a little too close and it was pinching my, my tube. So essentially it's gonna sit like that, in other words. Uh, so real quick, what I've done is on the parts list that I gave you, the one that has the larger diameter hose, so larger and smaller, okay? So the one on the right, this one here, is the one that you connect to the reservoir. These is what you're gonna build onto the actual pieces that actually spray onto the windshield. So real quick, what you want to do, depending on how long your stuff has set up, is take a piece of the tubing, put it back on the actual grommet there. Uh, let me see, it's the other end. One moment here, there we go. And then what you wanna do is take the other end and blow on it, and you should be able to hear. What I've done is clear any debris that could be set up in here because it's probably been years or decades if yours have been changed. So go ahead and uh, stick with me so we can get the rest of this buttoned up and installed. All right, so real quick too, um, before we get this all buttoned up and installed, this is the pump here. What you want to do is do a little bit of water or even just a little bit of saliva if you want and um, rub it around the inside of the reservoir and on the bottom of this pump, right, right around here, there's a rubberized gasket. Go ahead and lubricate that because it's gonna make it sit and seat a lot quicker and faster. It's not gonna fight with you. The other item in the packaging is this locking ring. So all you simply do is once you push the motor down is you're just gonna push this in there like so, just like this until it seats down. And you might need to use a screwdriver like that here and push these prongs all the way down because it's gonna hold this pump locked in place, just like that. All right, let's get this uh, hooked up and sprayed. All right, so that was pretty much uh, smooth sailing. Uh, got it all pretty much um, installed. I did have a little issue with my power wire here. So I took my test light and um, tested it and I guess there's just a little bit of corrosion on the inside of your wire. So what you wanna do is just get something to clean that out. Once I plugged it back in or put my test light back on it, it was fine. So now we're all good, it's got power. I already did a test, this thing is awesome. And Blue finally has windshield uh, wiper fluid and it sprays, it's amazing because before I had to do everything by hand when we're at a gas station. Um, so let's go ahead and Give it a shot. Look at that, guys. That is awesome. Look at that. 
How exciting is that? All right, folks. Well, I appreciate you guys tuning back in again on another awesome episode of Blue, and I hope this helps you out uh, to get yours installed as well or fixed or restored. Again, guys, uh, go ahead and drop me those comments. Um, subscribe if you have not. Definitely hit the bell notification so you get all my upcoming videos. Like always, guys, God bless.